turns this panel on, which is the patch panel, the amplifiers, and our um, processors. Everything I hear will get turned on here. It also turns on the mixer board and the speakers. Then you turn on the big red on switch right here that turns on the CD players and the shortcuts. Okay? There is a switch on the back of the shortcuts. If you turn this on and the shortcuts do not come on, check that switch. Okay, so we've done the power up sequence. Everything is operating the way it needs to. All right, so now we need to look over here at our, at our mixer board. We are recording from CD to shortcut. So we need to make sure that the shortcut that we're going to be using is passed into the PFL so that we can hear what we're doing. We don't need to worry about level set right now because these faders aren't going to affect the sound that's being recorded. All of that is set up here. You want to look at your appropriate one and make sure the gain, which is this red knob right up here, is set at a decent level. How do we know which one is the one we're attached to? Or well, this is shortcut, shortcut one, one, shortcut, shortcut one. one. Okay. okay, and that's a hard patch. There's wi they're wired together through the mixer board. Gotcha. Okay. And you want to pull out a couple of patch cables because we are patching stereo. Can you see, Cindy? Do you want to come further in? <laughs> okay, so we're coming out of CD1, which is this side, CD1, CD2. Coming out of CD1 and into shortcut one, uh, one. So out of yellow into red. And we're doing stereo sounds, you want to do left and right. Okay, so we've got that set. And we know we're coming out of shortcut one. So at this point, since I've got that pushed, patched into the PFL, See if we get sound here. We don't get sound because we're not recording. So we stop that, go back to track two. All right, to start recording, hit record and play at the same time, right? Yes. Okay. Record and play at the same time. Give it about a second. Start the music. This is your volume for the PSL. guides are for the PSL. If you hit in the red, you're way too loud, turn your volume way down. Okay? This is for the for the shortcut. If these start to peak, you need to turn the gain down up here. Okay? Exactly. And this is Mark, PFL volume. So let your let your chosen track play and record. Yes. Record and play at the same time. A little bit. <laughs> we have vinyl. All right. Stop here. Stop here. I have no idea what this one's called, so we'll just call it track two. <laughs> okay, and then to save it to a hotkey, copy, copy. hotkey number. Okay, so now we have our track two. But we got a little bit of track three right at the end of that, so we want to take that off. Yeah, so now that's when we go into that editing. So we go into the editing screen. Yeah, so soft key. So hotkeys are just like presets, basically? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So here I'm at the end of our file, so we're going to move back a little bit. This waveform, I believe, is right at the beginning of track three. So we're going to come over here and you want to put our edit in. There we go. Go to the end of our file, edit out, and then hit cut. Oh, you just cut it? Yep. Oh. You can also hit erase and it will just erase it. That I cut to the clipboard in case I wanted it for something else. Yeah, go back to it. So now if we go back to the beginning, we have our edited portion, our edited portion which is just track two, which apparently isn't very long. Now if we wanted to do, say, a fade in, we can come in here, do our edit in. Get 
ourselves like four seconds of fade in time. Edit out. That'll just select that portion. Soft keys. Soft key two. And then you hit three as our fade in. Okay? And save that, and then you hit save to save the editings that you've edits that you've done. And then it's just as a file, and then it's not the CB anymore. And it's in exactly. Now it's a file in here. <clears throat> and now I have my overture, my track two, and I also have my clipboard, which is that little chunk of sound that I pulled off the end of track two. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so now we check playback. Sounds good. So now we know it's going to play back for us. We've already saved it to a hotkey, now we set up to play out there. <clears throat> so we're saving on the shortcut, we can take it off the PFL, because otherwise we'll hear it in here and we won't be able to tell if it's out there. Now if these windows are closed, what you can do is turn up the monitors, which is right down here. It says house sound on it. Yeah. First dial is for this theater, second dial is for the other theater. Oh, okay. If you turn that up, you'll start hearing it through these speakers. Yeah. Okay? Well, we've got the windows open, so I'm going to turn that down. Yeah, so, <clears throat> first step, right here, these are your master volume sliders. Put them up around zero, and that sets the cluster yeah. is where we're going to play back through. Yeah. Then you pick your shortcut, you start your play, and you can fade it in using this slider. Find a good volume, let it play through, and then when you reach the end, bring it out. Okay? Cool. Anyone, any questions on what we're doing here? So when it's, it's play and record is when you start to... Yes. Play, yeah. play and record at the same time and, you can listen, and <laughs> yeah. you'll start hearing it through the PFL. Mr. Yes. In the theater? You want to have your cluster up, which is these two sliders, the white and the black slider. It's a CL down here, which is cluster. And then you bring up your source. So you have to pick the right source. So we've got the tuner, the turntable over there, USB, which is that blue box right there. That plays off of anything that will plug into a USB, from a laptop to an iPod. Our CD players, which are right here, and then the shortcuts, one and two. So we've got a number of sources to choose from. Choose the right source, bring that sound up. And of course, if you haven't chosen the right source, such as if I bring up shortcut two, but play something on shortcut one, no sound, because I brought up the wrong source. Oh. Yeah. Any other questions? When you're saving something, say if you're sound designing for uh, mm -hmm. a, a play or something, would that save to copy this in that or CD, or does that say uh, directly onto this? If you were going to do your uh, a sound design for one of our shows here, uh -huh. I would recommend you do all of your work on a computer. Okay. Save all your files as sound files, uh -huh. um, and then you bring your computer in, you plug it into the Audi box, you see. and then you go out from USB into whichever shortcut you're saving to. Okay. Okay. So you would still play from a shortcut, you wouldn't play from your... The nice cut. thing about the shortcuts is, what I would do personally is I would have both shortcuts set up to play the same files. And then I would also have the laptop up here. So if both of these crash out, I've still got backup. And then I'd probably have another one that's a CD of everything. Gotcha. And that I would have in here. So I have lots of backups in case something goes wrong. The advantage of the shortcuts is this is all they do, is play sound, and they do it very well. But they are older technology. Any other questions? I think we just got to do it to like Just got to do it. Yeah. yeah. Don't speak right. that's where questions don't come in. Well, nobody was answering. <laughs>